Fishing is the fastest, easiest way to get downtown, but it's also one of the most dangerous. The cyclist community is pleading for change after a man was killed while riding a scooter in the bike lane in Balboa Park. This comes months after a well-known SDSU faculty member was struck riding her bike in that same area. ABC 10 News reporter Nate Holmes spoke with local advocates who say they need safer streets for cyclists. A very simple, clear answer is that we need protected barriers on our streets. Kyle Haskala with Bike SD says he has been a member of the cyclist community for more than a decade. He says it's difficult hearing another person was tragically killed along Pershing Drive. Over the weekend, a 34 year old man was hit while riding a scooter in the bike lane. Whether you're riding a scooter or a skateboard or a bicycle, we need protected barriers so that these accidents are, are they're not accidents. These crashes, these deaths, uh, will stop occurring. Back in July, advocates gathered at this same spot in Bird Park calling for change. Safe streets now! In that same month, cyclist and well-known SDSU Director of Facilities Planning, Laura Shin, was killed while riding along Pershing Drive. It's tragic to see more deaths on our streets, and I really place the blame at the feet of people who had the power to do something 10 years ago. Haskala says he has seen a change in the current administration. City leaders are now actively working with bike advocates. Although it is still unclear as to when Pershing Drive will get protected bike lanes, Haskala says he is hopeful they will receive a timeline by the end of the year. There is a, an entire community of advocates who have been tirelessly calling for changes on our city streets and we will not let up until we have safer streets for everyone. Nate Holmes, ABC 10 News. And ABC 10 News has reached out to the mayor's office. We're still waiting on an update regarding the Pershing Drive project.